Hey guys, this is a fun one. It involves maximizing revenue. So the situation is we're trying to sell calculators and we have a price of $120. We can sell 400 calculators. And this states that for each $1 increase in price, we sell two fewer calculators. So when we raise the price by $1, we end up selling two fewer calculators. And same thing happens again. When we raise it another dollar, we go down two more calculators. So this is the situation. And the question is asking, what should we charge to maximize the revenue? If you want to try this on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. So in order to find out the revenue, we need to do price times units. So we can make another column here for revenue. And 120 times 400 is equal to 48 bands. And $121 times 398 is equal to 48, 158. So we're making more money, which makes sense because we raised the price, but we did sell less units. So if we do it again, this times this is equal to 48, 312. So we're still going up in money. And if we keep raising the price, we're going to keep making more money. And we could keep building out the table with this pattern, but there is a better way to do this. Let's make an equation for this situation. Let's have R equal the revenue, and let's have X equal the number of $1 increases. So we'll do R equals, and then it's going to be price times units. For the price, we're going to start at $120, and then we're going to add a dollar for every X. And then for the units, we start at 400 units, and we'll subtract two units for every $1 increase. And now we have an equation. So if we have access to a grapher like Desmos, we can just plug this in. It'll just be y equals 120 plus 1x times 400 minus 2x. And here's the graph right here. And we can move it till we find the vertex, and this is the maximum revenue right here. It ends up being $51,200 when x equals 40. So that is our maximum revenue. But the question is specifically asking about the price we should charge. So let's find the price that gives us the 51,200. We know that the price is equal to 120 plus 1x, and we know that x is equal to 40. So the maximum price would be 120 plus 40, which is 160. And that is the answer to our question, $160. So in this scenario, if we want to maximize our revenue, we'd set the price to $160. How exciting. That would have taken a really long time if we just did the table.